There's a lot of familiar landmarks in Pope Valley. There's the Pope Valley Garage, the Pope Valley Market, and the Pope Valley Post Office. But just outside of Pope Valley, there's a rather unique landmark. Welcome to Hubcap Ranch, the place where lost hubcaps are found. Hubcaps from just about every make and model can be found hanging, nailed up, or in a pile. You can see the older ones, they go back into the 40s. In the early 1930s, Leo DeMonte hung up a lost hubcap on his fence. Then he found another one. And another one. And another one. Hubcaps go on the fence line all the way around. Lido passed away in 1985. These days, his grandson Mike DeMonte watches over the place. And he's even helped add to the collection. I'm one of seven kids, so we used to send everybody out, us and our cousins, and say, okay, I'll give you one bit a piece and go get hubcaps and put them in the back of my truck. So we'd go and steal our neighbor's hubcaps. <laughs> Mike says most people knew where to find their hubcaps. And over time, the shiny metal display sort of became an invitation. Wave them. Come on. Come on in. You like to talk and like to see around people. <laughs> well, if you think Hubcap Ranch is just a crazy roadside attraction, think again. It's actually a historic landmark. He was what they call the folk artist. You don't call him a hubcap collector. Not only is this place a historic landmark, Hubcap Ranch was also a landmark for the U.S. parachute team. They could see this place from way up in altitude because there was shiny areas. Hubcap Ranch still attracts people today, and if you stop by, be sure and check out the farm. You can even pick up some of Mike's specialty eggs. Cage-free, fun-loving, sexy, happy chickens. Lido lost count of the hubcaps over the years, so it's a little hard to say how many there are. But if the gates open, feel free to count them for yourself. Hey, thanks for watching, and watch more videos just like this. Also, write in the comments where I should be checking out next.